Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Bills franchise. Here we are taking on the Minnesota Vikings in Orchard Park for our last preseason game of the year. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is game four. All is on the line here for our players to see who is going to be starting. Uh, we've basically already figured out everything. Uh, Josh Allen will get the start today in front of Brock Osweiler, and Brock Osweiler remains the backup to Josh Allen. Uh, one of the things I did do off camera was I actually signed Taco Charlton, and he will be backing up Jerry Hughes. So be on the lookout for him. We haven't seen Taco Charlton play yet, so that should be that should be fun when he gets out on the field. So we'll play one quarter with all the starters in and then the rest will be backups and second team. And we're going to switch to normal real quick so we can watch everything unfold. Here we go, our first play the moment. We gotta watch for Dalvin Cook in the backfield. Hopefully we can get the stop here. Nope, Dalvin Cook just gonna roll right up our middle. Just like that. Okay. Let's see if we can try to get the stop on Dalvin Cook again. I'm pretty sure that they will be going to him. Nope. Try to throw it to Stefan Diggs, but Kirk Cousins throws an incompletion. So second and goal. On the two. Kirk Cousins prepares to take the snap. And Kirk Cousins hands it off to Dalvin Cook, and Dalvin Cook walks in there for the touchdown. Hopefully this is not how the regular season will go. Hopefully our defense will come up and make the stand. But uh, I guess we'll have to find out about that. Uh, Devin Singletary remains our RB1, and LaShawn McCoy will be backing him up the majority of the time as Josh Allen goes down with a sack and we go three and out on, the, on our first drive. Ed Oliver already making an appearance there by getting a penalty and Harrison Phillips getting the penalty now. All right. Cameron Meredith. All right. Minnesota's went and signed Cameron Meredith. That'll be a good wide receiver three. And here we are making another play the moments view here and they're going with an empty backfield and wow they all all teams always seem to go with empty backfields when i choose cover two man Ugh. that is brutal kyle rudolph with the reception all right they're going in tight so let's see if we can stop them in the backfield there we go Stopped it for no gain that time. Well done. Love to get some pressure on Kirk Cousins there, but he gets it out to Stefan Diggs, who is the new member of the Bills in real life, but in this he is still a member of the Minnesota Vikings and will probably stay that way for a very long time. Going in tight again. Looks like our looks like our starters will only play. Looks like our offensive starters will only get to play one drive. So that was that's nice, and it quickly becomes fourteen to nothing, Minnesota. 
All right, so Brock Osweiler and the rest of the second team for the Buffalo Bills will come out, and Brock Osweiler immediately gets out there and throws a dime to Isaiah McKenzie and then throws another one to Robert Foster. So we see you. Okay, three for three. Frank Gore goes back. All right, so we're jumping in on a third down here on the offense. This will be our first offensive play here. Sean McCoy, who catches it. Yes, well done. Oh, no, that's Frank Gore. My bad. I apologize. Can't mess up Frank Gore and LaShawn McCoy. And we're going to get another chance out here. And let's get... Uh, Let's get a wide receiver three going on here. Ray Ray McLeod. Why isn't Ray Ray McLeod playing? Oh, it's because he's not listed here. Okay. I see you. There we go. Now he's listed. All right. So this is a good play. I like it. I've used this one a couple times. And Isaiah McKenzie, or Ray Ray McLeod, excuse me. Muffin up the names of my own players on the team here. So let's hand off the piece to Frank Gore. Maybe he can get some power running here. That'd be nice. Stumbles forward for about a couple yards there. Let's see if we can hand it off to him again. Frank Gore, a couple more yards, third and six. Not exactly the type of tuition we would have hoped from those two runs, but that's fine. And nobody is open downfield. Brock Osweiler is going to run with the puck, and there we go. He gets the first down, gets out of bounds at the five. We might be scoring a touchdown here, folks. Let's see if we can get in there this time for good. Ooh, that was actually a pass intended for Jason Kroom, but that was wildly off the mark. And I do mean wildly. That was one of the most ridiculous throws I have seen. And Robert Foster catches the touchdown. And it is now 14-7 to Minnesota. And we're going to sim a couple drives here so that we can still get this game off in time. We've got an injury already. Not what you want to see in preseason, once again. And the Bills get the ball again. That was a quick uh, three and out for Minnesota. Let's see if the Bills can conspire anything here. Isaiah McKenzie, Dawson Knox causes a penalty. Jason Kroom, another penalty, another penalty. Good grief. All right, let's play this third. All right, I guess not. We're not going to play that. I do wish the simming was a little bit better in Madden 20. Hopefully it's better in Madden 21. But we can't all be winners here. And he throws it to Jason Kroom. That's one of Brock Eisweiler's favorite targets during this preseason. As he gets taken down for a sack. And Ray Ray McLeod catches the ball. We're going to have to skip this one. Isaiah McKenzie gets the first down. Well done. Jason Kroom again. We're going to skip all the way. We're going to skip all the way. Touchdown for Frank Gore. And that ties the game. So it is now 14-14. to 14. 
close to halftime. Let's fast this up a little bit. Let's go to normal now. Brock Osweiler gets sacked. Robert Foster catching the uh, the big ball here. So let's let's try to get uh, let's try to get a touchdown here. And Frank Gore gets in for his second touchdown of the day. There he is celebrating in the end zone with the rest of his teammates. Wyatt Teller, Robert Foster, and Brock Osweiler doing some sort of rap battle dance thing. So there we go. Team having a great time out there on the field. 21-14 Buffalo. penalty on the defense that was an awkward play here I don't know exactly what happened there but okay and Minnesota will go for a field goal and we're going to fasten the pace of this And it's a tie game. We're gonna skip. We're gonna skip. We're gonna skip. We're gonna skip. And let's try to hold out. Let's try to hold out here against uh, Kyle Solder and the second team Minnesota offense, who gets a big chunk play out of the backfield. Don't like the defense that we called. All right, at least we get them. At least we get the stop. All right, they call timeout. That's probably good. Probably a good thing. We're going to go for the cover four in the backfield. I like covering four in the backfield, especially while we're in the end zone. That play works very well for me most of the time. Depending on if we can get to the quarterback. Thank you. Okay. We uh, would have wished that they got to the quarterback a little bit quicker there. But, uh, you know. Work in progress, I guess. That is Taco Charlton that put the pressure on, by the way. Another incomplete pass. See, they got one more chance to do this. Oh, it's almost picked. Oh my gosh, that could have been Dean Marble or Marlowe's first pick of the preseason. Oof. And there you have it. The Buffalo Bills will win this one. So they will go. At 50% here at preseason. Uh, there's the stats if you want to take a look at them. All right. This closes up the final game of this preseason. I will come back with another video uh, summing up this game and the rest of the games combined. And a look ahead to what the future of the regular season holds for us. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later. Be kind to one another and be safe.